No bank accounts are safe in 2023. Cue the fire will, except for crypto. Wait, hold on. What, Skylar? Uh, first boss, I just want to say thank you for allowing me to vacation in Disneyland. And crypto is not safe. It's about as safe as Biden's underwear. Well, that's a good one, Skylar, but he wears the pen, so I wouldn't even sweat it. But the banks around the world are telling you that our banks are not safe. Douchey Bank is screaming from the mountaintops. And breaking news coming from the, the least sharpest tool in the shed. Deutsch, sorry, I always mispronounce it. Douche Bank warns of peril in borrowing from United States banks. So I guess we should all just put our money over there. And as the article says, Frankfurt, I spent two years over there. You're actually Bitburg. If you guys like beer, that that was the place to be. Germans Deutsche Bank. Now I'm like, how do you say it correctly? Has a stark warning to European companies, right? Stop borrowing from the US because they're going to file for bankruptcy. I don't know. European companies borrowing from US lenders, they will drop you when times get tough next year. Looks like my time's my time's up. I guess I'm done. I reached my article limit, but something tells me it probably that was that was a good headline. And I say, well, Deutsche Bank, put your money where your mouth is. Uh, let's take a look at bank stocks. It probably looks about as good as meet Kevin stocks. I should probably just erase that one. Oh, hey, look up there. Cyber Monday sale. Also trading view. Grab that. That's the best all year. Just link in the description on that. That's what I use. This is this program. But on mine, Cyber Monday starts now early. And it's 200 bucks for my courses. You can either pick my Dominate Stocks. That would be swing trading that one off of that point. Off of that point. So this is a douche bank. Uh, or you can have my new bear market course, which that would be easier to trade this stock completely because it's it's a rip roaring bear. Well, when you go from $130 a share down to five, that that's that would be the whole company's a bear market. So let me just quickly show you what's what's at play on on DB. Look at that. That was a falling wedge in the bear market course. You take this measurement right here. You measure from right here to right here. Your price target is right there. We're getting there on the swing trade. If you're like, I just want to I just want to swing trade it, Bravo. That would have been your uh, bear swing. Well, especially in a falling wedge, that's going to, well, look, sorry. I, there's so much on this chart. See the 200 day? It, actually, it's above the 200 day. Deutsche Bank is in a bull market, but don't get your hopes up. I mean, that was a great trade. Uh, a couple things, double bottom. You have all of these all of these points that point you in a direction. So you would have taken out a, a a trade right there and whoop. So you had a swing trade on your hands, a double bottom on your hands. Now you're ab above the 200. Oh my goodness. I mean, what is happening with bank stocks? Citibank running up there to the 200. You're going to get over at Bank of America above the 200. Goldman Sachs above the 200. You see, you look away from an industry for a minute. Wells Fargo above the 200. MS. Morgan Stanley above the 200. We got two left, JP Morgan above and CS. Are we above? No, Credit Suisse, sorry. You're in the toilet. A double bottom right there that, well, that, that one didn't play out. I think I put that one, yep, I talked about that last week. I said, I highly doubt it. And boy, my views just have to change. I know a lot of you guys struggle with that. You're like, you've been so against banks, yep. Get above the 200, not so much against. You get a double bottom, you get a swing trade, all of these things. Now it changes. It's like one minute we're for one thing, the next minute we're not. I know you all want to just pick a sports team and stick to it, but I guess I'm a bandwagon kind of a guy. If it's, you know, going one way, hey, I'll, I'll follow you. Follow you all the way to the finish line, especially if there's money at the end. I will take it. Here we go. Deutsche Bank. I gotta say it properly. YouTube's will probably slap my hand on this one. CEO, CEO warns of danger of European reliance on us, on foreign banks. And I say, that's good. We shouldn't have reliance on you. You shouldn't have reliance on us. We'll just all be one kind of happy family that maybe comes together during Thanksgiving. And yes, I think that you should diversify everything. Diversify where your money's at. Have some over here. Have some over there. Definitely never leave them on exchanges, which you finally, you figured that one out. That was in my crypto course. I 
preach that every day. You get on, you get off. Because at one one day, it's going to come out and poof. I mean, when it was what? Back in January, December, the regulators, the government was coming down, which I will show you. Hey, they just launched the new CBDC. Hold your horses, Bravo. That's, that's a coming. Closed accounts, no money. And you guys have been emailing, I can't get my money off of this, off of that. Chime app users complained they were suddenly shut out of their online accounts. You wouldn't have this problem if you just kept all of your money, all of your paper under your mattress. Then there'd be no problem until one day you get a phone call, right? Uh, your house, it's on fire. Well, there goes, there goes all your money. And so like always, don't have all of your eggs in one basket. And de definitely don't leave it with the fox because he'll eat the eggs in and your chickens too. And again, this year, not as bad as next year's gonna be. You're gonna see a lot more uh, stories like this. Could your bank account be frozen? 750,000 customers lost access to their money in one financial year. And then when another one topples, take for example, Coinbase. I am a a strong proponent of never using them. Why? Because I got a little tangled up with them. Uh, I transferred money. They said, what money? At that point, I tried to get a hold of them. It was all email. I said, I will never use them again. I can't imagine a million dollars. You're like, can I have it back? Well, what million? If Coinbase, and you can look in their terms, and I don't know if they've changed or not, the term service, where it's like, if they file for bankruptcy, it's all theirs, you should probably dive into it. Same thing when you open the Snapchat app, and they're like, yeah, we know your keystrokes. Oh, that's, wait, so when I log into my banking account, you know what, what buttons I'm pushing? Oh, that's a great idea. Don't quote me on it. Go look at the terms and service that you said, I accept for you to keep all of my money. And yes, with all of these banking disasters, the Fed has your back. All they have to do is create a little ledger and say, hey kids, look, we have new money. Do you have a wallet? Download the wallet. We'll put money right in it. Poof, right out of thin air using probably bank reserves that they have on with your bank accounts anyways. Just like moving on with banking giants and New York Fed to start a 12 week digital dollar pilot, which they've already done, launched, ready to go. And as the article goes on to say, global banking giants are starting the 12 week pilot. Okay, that was probably a week ago. I don't know how, November 15th, okay. Oh, all right, we're, we're getting there. We got a few left, a few weeks left. Digital dollar pilot, Federal Reserve, Bank of New York, the par participants announced on Tuesday, they are ready, they're good to go. And it's funny how at one moment they're like, we're just testing, we're exploring. We know exactly what you are going to do, Jerome. We know what you're gonna do. What, from where, Federal Reserve? We knew this, I, I've been telling you about it. Next year, it's, you got the Fed coin, you got your wallets, they'll control everything, what you do, where you move, how you spend, what you don't spend, their carbon footprint, all of those dirty words you probably can't say on YouTube, but I do, and then my video gets shelved. New York Innovation Center to explore feasibility. Now, you're not exploring it, Fed, you're doing it. Of, pay, of a payment system designed to facilitate and settle digital assets transactions. That is, that's what they are currently doing uh, November 15th. So again, it all just comes together. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York today announced New York, It's we're, we're just call it NYIC, will participate in proof of concept project. Yep, here we go. But I do have a concept and a solution for you. When they start saying, you know what, because this is what you, pro I, I mean, don't use it, but use it. This is about the only thing you have left is just paper, <laughs> which isn't even money, but at least it's not digital that they can control. The, the pushback needs to be with you and paper say, no, uh, we're going to, we're going to use this stuff, but I'm pretty sure they have a solution for that too. For every sheet of paper that you turn in to the federal reserve or the NYIC or any bank, which is all of them that are participating in this, we'll give you uh, two dollars. So you, you deposit paper of one and we'll give you two in, in our new little ledger that uses a thing called bank reserves, which is yours in the first place. And then all of the lemmings will go, yes, they will rush all their money because it is the right thing to do. Always do the right thing. You've learned that over two years, right? Just do the right thing. Government has your back. And also for those of you who are like, well, we're already digital, who cares? No, this is completely different, okay? 100%. And it's not even, it's nothing like Bitcoin, okay? And also a little little shout out to uh, what's happening in the crypt, crypto sphere. I still, I've always been a strong proponent on, on Bitcoin. The rest, they're not. You got 
Bitcoin altcoins. And I know I'm going to get a lot of pushback on that, but that's okay. This is just how I feel. You know, you could look at a girl and go, she's very beautiful. I will marry her. And I will say, you go ahead to each his own. I, there is Bitcoin. There's 21 million. That's it. Whoever has them, has them. And right now, the people that do have them, uh, they're, they're holding them. They're, they're, there's a hold game right now. So just, just to let you know where we are at in Bitcoin. And I'm talking about like I do. I have all my stuff off of off of the exchanges. I had them off since January, December of last year. That was it. If I trade, I go in, I go off. I have been saying that times to buy would be anything under 19,000. It's like 19, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's okay. And if you want to see a chart of this going back to what, 2011, see right above my hair. These are for my investor friends. If you want to know if you're getting pretty close to the bottom, I circled the first one for you. You're at the bottom, okay? I mean, going from what, 16, 15 now to, to 10, not too much difference. We were just at 70 or 69 uh, right here. That's where you accumulate. This is where you accumulate. This is where you accumulate. And this is currently where you accumulate. And I personally think we still have lower legs on this cat. So don't come yelling at me. You said to buy it now. No, I'm not. And also what I say now here, let me, because people, you get, everyone gets confused. Look, see this, this is a, a convergence divergence on the MACD. Bitcoin will go up from that. How long? I don't know. So when I tell you, I think it's going to go lower. It's not going to go lower right now. It's going to take some time. Right now, it it's going to go up, and then it will come down. And everyone wants to know. Even look at the map. Look at RSI. Sorry if you hate crypto. RSI, you are oversold. Oversold. These are oversold areas. Uh, we're going to reverse, and then we will come down. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to yell at you. This was actually. This was in the course. That was a. The triangle that broke there broke exactly like I said it would, and it landed exactly like I said it would. Then I said it would bounce off of that blue line, come down, retest that balloon. So this was another one. This is another uh, uh, bear flag, bear pennant that breaks lower, which it did. So to buy something like this, you can't buy it here. You have to go off off onto the exchanges. So other than that, I would probably do GBD, GBTC, which already predicted this. This is already, this is at nine bucks. So. If you're thinking about, you know what, how can I do it out of this account or that account? It's already predicted that Bitcoin's going to head lower, GBDC, GBTC. Um, but I don't want to go into it. But just trust me, where we're at now, right now, nine bucks. And all you have to do, just right click, trade, create new order. And then you go down below, you connect your trade station, which gives you 150 bucks on new accounts. You fund it with 500, they give you 150. And then you could buy it for $9.03. If you just want to hold it, again, I think the leg, I think it's lower. Okay, I'm just telling you, even even how this one plays out. This is, uh, here's your falling wedge again, plays out, plays out down there. So you still have room to the downside, probabilities. But if you just want to play safe, then go ahead. Actually, a safe play I'm going to do like tomorrow, Smart, no, Monday, Monday, uh, grab a little bit of that, that one year in a bond. It's almost, it's paying you almost 5%. Take my money. Cause I don't think it's going to stay up there like that. You see this hockey stick? Yeah. That hockey stick's going to come down and I'm going to lock in for what a year and two months at almost 5%. I personally think that it's the most safest tool in the shed, the dollar. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I, I, I feel your pain, <laughs> right? Nothing is safe. Also, the rest of the world is telling everyone that we're not safe. Going back to the beginning of this entire video, these cats right here, cite your sources, Bloomberg. You also have banks need to worry about shadow banks. You have so many lenders out there that are going to go kaplooey in the next I don't know, two, six months. And this recession could be a very long one. And also these markets, this beautiful spike that you just saw, at some point I'm gonna, I'll do more TA on it to show you. You could be 10, 15 years in the toilet. That's if you look at the charts like SPX. I'll just do it real quick. I know we're, we're getting close to the end of the video and you're like, wait, why is that? Okay, see what we're currently in? Uh, all these things you would know because you've taught yourself. You got your algo zones. You got, oh, you're actually on the top. Ooh, you're getting pretty close to hitting the top of that. Uh, MACD rolling over. But what I want to show you is one line. And we're also going to pull way back and we're going to click log. 
logarithmic, I can never say that word, and auto. See this red line that you probably couldn't see? This is going back to the Great Depression, right? We're, we're, we're just in that, we're in that zone. This is, this is the line that there is probabilities that you could lose half of the stock market, retest that, and then head higher. Don't be shocked. This is also in my bear market course. If we go through 162 bars, f almost 5,000 days, that's the top, didn't make it, and there you go. You, you finally broke even. And my apologies if all of those lines confused you. I know people in the comments are like, I don't get the charts, please stop doing it. The charts predict the future. Why are you, why would I stop doing that? Why would I stop telling you the truth? Same reason, why would I stop telling you the truth about what the elites are doing? Even though YouTube shelves the video and you guys leave comments saying, that was probably a bad idea. Uh, I never even saw it, it wasn't even in my feed. Yep, I know. But I just feel, oh, thank you for subscribing because you have someone out here telling you the truth. I have no dog in this fight. I don't know. I don't know if the market's going to go up or down. I'm just, I'm showing you the charts, giving you the probabilities and doing the best I can within 15 minutes to teach you the charts. If you don't want to take my Black Friday deal on 200 bucks, are you, that's crazy. Come on. Courses I taught at university were like $5,000. This isn't even the price of a textbook. So please grab it. Prices all go up and then you're going to be like, can you please do something? No. It's 200 is too cheap anyways. That's like your boss calling you and saying, hey, will you work this weekend for $5? No, I think I'd rather spend time with my family. And I hope you guys are too. And I will see you tomorrow.